What's up YouTube? Phil from The Attic here, got another video for you guys. So today I'm doing a video on something a little different. Um, as you know, we're a uh, vintage slash sneaker shop in New York. So today I wanted to do a video besides sneakers because all the last few videos have all been sneakers. And um, yeah, I just wanted to do a video on some of my favorite band tees that I'm currently wearing. Um, what I look for in a band tee. Uh, and basically some of the some of these I might be putting up for sale or already on our website some from my old collection or stuff that we got from people but uh, yeah um, let me get right into it the first shirt that I'm showing off right now is the uh, is a ZZ top shirt so uh, yeah rest in peace Dusty Hill died recently um, this is a part of the ZZ Light World Tour, 1990. Um, this one is a printed on a Springford Classic Sportswear. You can see the tag right there. And it's made in USA. The sleeves are single stitched and then the bottom is double stitched. But yeah, this one has a nice fit on it. It's more of like a slimmer fit. Some of the Springfords fit a little slimmer, but it's got a nice fade to it. The only thing I've noticed on this one is it has the gra the front graphic is a little crooked, but with vintage shirts, you know, you get, you get what we get. And not only that, it could just be from the wash or the last owners or the past few owners that had it. When you throw them in the dryer, the, for many washes and dries, the graphic starts to distort a bit. So it could be from that, or just when the screen printer originally made it, it came out crooked, but this one's a, my favorite part about this one is that it's part of the local crew. So it's not, it was probably like band members or like people that helped out the band from that concert, even maybe security, whatever it was. But yeah, there's um, a few different versions of this one with a different back. There's some with color, but I think this one's cool because it's just the local crew shirt and the, that light, the lightning bolts going down are pretty cool. And yeah, this one's from the 90s, early uh, 1990, but... Yeah, I'm gonna try to get some fit pics, uh, fit footage of how they fit on me and how they look on body. And then, uh, yeah, get to the next one. So I'm a big uh, Sepultura fan and I try to get a lot of Sepultura shirts for like reasonable prices because a lot of their shirts have been insanely priced recently or have gone up. I mean, all the band shirts have gone up since covid hit and everything everyone's been thrifting and stuff and looking online but yeah this one is the simple tribe shirt and it's a long sleeve it's super faded um super washed the back has this tribal circle right here and this one is a i believe it's a large and it's on the blue grape tag a lot of the uh simple tour shirts are on blue grape tags which it was believe was the record label back then um yeah a lot of there's a print on these blue grape tags made in usa um the bottom hem is double stitched but this one runs a little big but um this one fits me too slim so i probably actually i think i might have listed this on the website already so if you're interested in this i'll put the link in the bio but yeah i've seen this in short sleeve versions also and I've also seen this in versions where the print is glow in the dark, but uh, this one isn't. But yeah, I just love the that logo, the pattern, the tribal on it. And you know, you can't go wrong with that simple tour S. Yeah, this one you guys can find on the website. Next up, this one is one that I actually wear a lot. Um, it's not always about the big graphic, but the reason I wear this one a lot is because it has a small graphic. When you want a simple outfit, you don't want, you don't always want that huge graphic. But um, this one's an ACDC, also a local crew shirt. I like something about the crew shirts, the local crew shirts, maybe being more exclusive or whatever it is, appeals to me more. But also this one's on the Brockham tag. With the Brockham tags, they've always fit me a little shorter or... The fit is really nice. It's a little boxier. Um, this is an XL made in USA. Sleeve single stitch. And again, the bottom 
is that double stitch, which is coming apart. But yeah, the graphic is really cool in this. You can see. So it's like um, some guy with ACDC buzzed into his head in his haircut. And the cool thing is you can see he has a one of those dangle earrings and also has a uh, vintage shirt on or some, some distressed shirt on the guy. And yeah, this one's from their world, the world tour in 1990, 91. And yeah, this is one of my favorites that I wear the most. Next up is this Beast Feast 2001 festival. Not super old, I mean, early 2000s, but um, some people don't consider that vintage yet, but the fade on this one is what makes this one really nice. Um, it's got that super washed out fade and it's on the top going down. And um, Beast Feast was basically, it's basically like um, a rock festival in Japan, more kind of like the Monsters of Rock that we have here. But yeah, Beast Feast had some crazy bands in the lineup. You can see the graphic, the artwork in the back. There's a few different versions of this shirt I've seen from the 2001 with this uh, cartoon guy right here, this character in the back. But yeah, there's bands like Slayer, Sepultura, Static X that were there. Um, crazy lineup. You know, Arch Enemy. Let's see what else. Pantera was there. Biohazard. Yeah, some crazy lineup there. You can see that. And this one, I actually, I think I got it from a seller that was in Japan, but this is made in USA, size XL. And I just love the fade. When you put it on, the fade really shows on it. Like you can see the difference from the top to the bottom. And it's almost, it's like, almost like a light gray. Looks like it had like a lot of, uh, like a salt water bath or something, but this one, has more age than some of the 90s shirts that I have. And next one, another band I'm a big fan of is from the grunge era, the 90s, Smashing Pumpkins. So this one's on an all sport tag made in USA. You see right there. It is a uh, single, again, single stitch sleeve. And this one, I just love the colorway, the orange. And it's not one of the Smashing Pumpkins shirts that you see as often. Like you see a lot of people with the uh, Siamese, Siamese Dreams one, the white one, and then the Mission to Mars one, which is really one of the best of grail for people, but impo like impossible to get unless you pay up ever since uh, Kid Cudi and all these artists wore them. But this one I like because it's so unique. I don't see it as often as the others. Um, I think I saw like uh, a picture of um, Haley Haley Bieber wearing it, but besides that, I haven't really seen anyone else wearing it. Um, but just the color combination is nice in this one. This one does fit, not as like not as small as some of the others, but I believe this one's from the late '90s. Um, doesn't have a date on it, but I'm pretty sure it's from the late '90s. And uh, yeah, next one. I have this Rush shirt, Rush Roll the Bones, um, in white. Most of, most of the banties are black that I'm showing today, but yeah, this one is um, on the Roll the Bones tour. It's got that back. My favorite part is the back on that, with the bones and the, the red font, and then the tour dates. Um, so for some reason, Rush's shirts, whatever they printed on the sportswear tags, or they always, like, all the rush shirts I've had have fit really short and cropped. So a lot of times when I get them and I wash them, I'll hang dry them or or do whatever I can so they stretch, so they get a bit longer because they're usually really cropped. Uh, this one's from 91 and you can see the front graphic is already warped from like I said before, the dryer or the hang drying, whatever it is, the, usually warps the graphic, but this one's, the artwork is crazy on this. Um, they do have different versions of this. This one I will be uh, will be on the website. Uh, the reason is because I found the version I wanted, which so I'm letting go of this one. It has just the, it's the same back and it has the a skull on the front, and then it says Rush on it. But this one is also crazy. Some people prefer this one. I prefer the other one, but um, 
I will be listing this one on the website. It's single stitched sleeve made in USA. The, the tag, um, tag I believe is a sportswear tag. It's faded out so you can't really see. Um, the fit is really nice. It has that cropped boxy fit. Um, this with the light pair of denim looks great. Uh, yeah, roll the bones onto the next one. I got this Robert Plant one, nonstop go world tour, 1988. So this is one from the 80s, so it does fit slimmer. And it is on one of the touch of gold tags, which is that black and gold tag. It's very faded, made in USA, single stitch. That's the back. This one's already on the website if you're interested in it. It's from 1988. I just love the colors of this one. And how can you not like Robert Plant, you know, Led Zeppelin. But yeah, there's a few, there's, I've seen one with, it's exactly the same tour, same back. It just has his face in front, but this one has the artwork on the front. Um, yeah, this one's pretty thin too. You can see it's paper thin. Next up. I got this one from the, I think this one's from the 90s also, late 90s maybe, but this one's made in USA. It's Henry Rollins from when he was doing more of his solo work or his own band, Rollins Band. And this one's pretty distressed as you can see, like the sleeves were cut. Whoever had this cut the sleeves and it fits more like a baseball tee now because it comes up to your, for, like it's, the sleeve ends at your forearm. Um, yeah, you can see there's a bunch of little holes all over, but the best part, in my opinion, is the back. The back is says Search and Destroy. It's got that sun on the back, and that's actually a tattoo that Henry Rollins has on his back. I've seen this shirt with different backs, so I per I like this. I think that's awesome, the tattoo that he has on his back. And yeah, the fit on this is, is more true, except the sleeves are cut. Um, yeah, it's the tag is the one of the QT's tag. As you can see, made in USA. Size XL. Yeah, so most I normally wear XLs. Um, in most vintage tees, I can fit in some larges, but most vintage tees I have to go XL because they usually run smaller. There's very few larges I can fit in, but yeah, there's a ton of holes in this one, which some people like, some people don't like, but. I don't mind, it just depends what I'm going for, what look I'm going for. But when it's too distressed, I get sometimes i too scared to wear it or I'll try to repair it and do what I can. But yeah, this one's a great tee. This one will be on the uh, website. And last but not least is this shirt that we've made. Um, we made it with the we so we are always sourcing for vintage tees and we came across some vintage screen stars tees we had a couple sizes and we just decided to make a black flag black flag design um and just print them on the shirts because we, we we didn't want to copy any black flag logos or or um, orig, um original artwork we just decided to make like a little bit of a parody of the black flag logo with the beer cans so this is, uh, got a six pack, nothing to do. Basically the lyrics for the song, but um, it's printed on that amazing, thin, super thin screen stars. And these are basically like dead stock, never worn. So we have a bunch of these in the store. Um, we have a few different sizes. I believe we have, we might, I think we have small through XL. So if you wanna, if you want one, you could check out our website. Um, yeah, so screen stars 50 50 percent 50 50 50 cotton 50 percent polyester made in USA. These are the ones from the 80s, so they fit pretty slim. Single stitch sleeve and hem. We do have some printed that we printed on sweaters also, but the um vintage late 90s pro player sweaters, so you can check our website out for that too. But the fit on these are amazing. Um, yeah, the color is nice too. And yeah, let me know what you guys think, you know. Um, do you guys like the video? Do you guys like the style format? Should we just continue doing the sneaker videos or 
if you want to see more vintage clothing videos, um, any suggestions. If you guys like this, I could make a part two. We have, I have a lot more shirts I can do videos on, but um, yeah, just let me know in the comments what you guys think. And if you liked any of these tees, you could check out on the website. If you're looking to get rid of any of these, you can message us too. Uh, message us on Instagram at The Attic New York. And yeah, like and subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys.